Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Josh O, from One Mana Floating, bringing you a Brothers War Urza's Iron Alliance pre-release box. Let's, uh, let's see what we get. Keep these open like so, and then I'm pretty sure, yeah, the deck box just slides out. These have come a long way from when I used to do seals. God damn. Ooh. Okay, so I guess these are our promo cards. Okay, let's see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six draft packs. Okay, kill zone, recommission, curate, uh, penrogen, yeah, screw it. Let's just get to the, uh, here we go, obliterating bolt, uncommon, blanche wood armor, uncommon, miraculous excavation, and a strike officer, ooh, key to the city. Okay, discard a card. Up to one target creature can't be blocked this turn. Whenever a key to the city becomes untapped, you may pay two. If you do, draw a card. Doesn't seem half bad. Okay. Well. Okay, we got the Vanguard, Dream Steel and Oil, Asuchi Cave Guard, ooh, Mind Stone, the Weak Stone, that's half of Urza. When Mind Stone, the Weak Stone enters the battlefield, choose one, draw two cards, target creature gets negative five, negative five until end of turn, and then tap, add two colorless mana, this mana can't be spent to, to cast non-artifact creatures. That's a second... As you can see, uh, quite a spike, depth, oh yeah, ooh, a full art island, not bad. Will we complete Urza? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, uncommon, here we go. Loren. Disciple of History, Excavator, Mask of Jade Crafter, Ashnod, Flesh Mechanist. Ooh, Soul Guide Lantern. Ooh, a Foil Keystone. A Keens Keening Stone. Okay, I see you. Let's, uh, let's read what some of these cards do here. We got three in that pack. That's insane. So Ashnod, uh, death touch one one for a one black. Whenever she attacks, I may sacrifice another creature. If you do, create a tap power stone token. And then five, exile a creature from your graveyard. Create a three three color uh, colorless zombie artifact creature token. That's pretty neat. Go what? Two more packs after this. Oh, whoa. I almost seen too much. Okay, Levitating Statue, Keeper of Candence, Battlefield Butcher, Fade from History. Each, each player who controls an artifact or enchantment creates a 2-2 green bear token. Then destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Uh, another tomb. Tomb. Okay, last pack, or second to last pack. Will we complete Urza? That's the question we need to know. So we got Arbalist Engineer, uh, Forging the Anchors, uh, Yodin, uh, Frontliner, 
Hostile Negotiations. It's three generic and one black. Exile the top three cards of your library in a face down pile. Then exile the top three cards of your library in another face down pile. Look at the cards in each pile. Then turn a pile of your choice up. Opponents choose one of those piles. Oh wait, sorry. Then turn a pile of your choice face up. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile in your hand, the other into the graveyard. You lose three life. Ooh, a loot stone golem. He's pretty good. A nice little full arty fours. Alright. You know what? I'm not upset with that. Last pack. And now we got this. Spotter, th uh, spotter Thopter, Involuntary Cooldown, Go for the Throw, One with the Multiverse, here we go, Six Colorless, Two Blue, you may look at the top card of your library at any time, you may play lands and cast spells from on top of your library, once during each of your turns, you may cast a spell from your hand or on top of its library without paying its mana cost. We got a retro frame, ornithopter, and a power stone token. You know what? I feel like this is a hit, but I don't know. So I'll have to look it up. I might put the pricing in on post. Who knows? Okay. Let's uh, see what we got. Okay, so yeah, we just got the Gricks coming in. So, uh, three generic, two black, choose two. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on up to one target creature. A one creature it gains life link until end of turn destroy. Each creature with power two or less return. Up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature card, a creature with the highest power among creatures they control. Huh, that's not bad at all. And then... It focuses. There we go. A code for you guys. Beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stick around. We do have um, some Urza Precon gameplay coming to the channel probably tomorrow. If you like, like the video. If you want to, drop a subscribe. Ring that bell if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Deuces.